everyone. We're going to verify this trig identity by multiplying by the conjugate. So basically, when you see something like this, you have one term on the left, one on the right, and it's flip-flopped. I call this the flip-flop thing. The only difference is um, the signs change. That's a key to multiply by the conjugate. So if we work on the, doesn't matter which side you start with, let's just start on the left. So you take your cosecant of theta minus 1 and multiply by its conjugate, which is cosecant theta plus 1. <coughs> and you also have to uh, multiply your denominator by this as well. So this is cosecant theta plus 1. Now this equals, um, this is your a plus b, or a minus b times a plus b form, and that gives you a squared minus b squared. So it's going to be cosecant squared minus 1 divided by, and just keep this the same, cotan theta times cosecant theta plus 1. All right, now, right here, this cosecant um, squared minus 1, if we arrange our Pythagorean identity here, equals cotan squared. So let's substitute that in. We get cotan squared of theta. In fact, I'll just, instead of square, I'm just going to write it down twice because there's two of them. That's cotan squared. All right, you have cotan of theta times cosecant theta plus 1. So clearly you can start seeing the pattern here uh, that we're getting to our desired result because the cotans will cancel there. And they divide out in equal 1. So you're left with cotan of theta divided by cosecant of theta plus 1. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.